Hello, everyone. My name is Maureen Hurley. I'm with Student Transitions and Family Programs. And today I'm here with Sheila Hurley. No relation exactly. Well, we're not quite sure. We might be distant cousins back from Ireland. Uh, but Sheila is our Catering direct Director at Emerson College. Sheila, would you like to say hello? Yes. Hi, everyone. I am Sheila Hurley, the Director of Catering here at Emerson College for the last three years. I love doing parties and events for all the students on campus. Um, I knew I wanted to be a catering director at a very young age um, in the hospitality industry. I'm the youngest of five children. We had a nice big family and we used to do lots of celebrations and I always catered my grandmother's bridge parties. So I knew that this was my calling when I even loved cleaning the teacups at the end of the party. Um, in college, I worked in Walt Disney World uh, at Epcot Center. And out of college, I started working at the Parker House in downtown at the restaurant where JFK famously proposed to Jackie. Um, and then moved to be BU, Boston University, as their assistant director of catering. And that's when I knew planning events for students was my calling. And then Emerson opened its doors to me, and I've been so happy here the last three years. Oh, and Emerson is so happy to have you, Sheila. So uh, can you tell us a little bit about the Taste of Home program? Absolutely. So the idea of Taste of Home is to bring items from home to Emerson College students so that if they're homesick or they're celebrating a milestone that they have a piece of their family and friends from home with them uh, throughout the school year. And it can be anything really. We have done celebrations for birthdays. We've done them for finishing finals. It can really be anything, but it's just to kind of have something, a piece of home with us at all times. Oh, that's really nice. Uh, do parents or family members, do they, are they um, limited to only order what's on the website? Definitely not. Um, the website is kind of the baseline, what is most popular and what's most requested, but I like to customize every basket to the student. Um, I think that's so important, especially if someone likes I know for birthdays, not everyone likes cupcakes. So I've had requests for ice cream or uh, cheesecake. So we like to customize everything as much as we can. So what kind of um, special events do you usually prepare a, a basket or um, some kind of presentation for? It can really be for anything. Um, we've done even if someone's homesick, uh, that's a big one that is actually very popular this year. It can be uh, some cake or brownie or cookie similar to what maybe their parents or grandparents have made them in the past. Um, if someone's feeling under the weather, I always like to send some tea with some honey spoons. So it could be anything that we can send them something to cheer them up. So if their family can't be there when, they're, uh, when they have a cold, Sheila can be there. <laughs> yes, yes, and we'll make homemade soup too. Oh, that's so sweet. So what's the most interesting care package or celebration you've been asked to design? Well, that's a good question. I think I have two favorites that I've done recently. I had one parent request a make your own train wheel kit, which was two of their favorite types of cookies with a hoodsy cup of ice cream and then unlimited individually packaged toppings to roll the train wheel of the cookie sandwich in. But it got a little tricky because of socially distant celebrations. We had to make 12 and drop them at all the rooms as quickly as possible because then they had a virtual celebration over Zoom. So that was really fun. And then my other favorite one is we did a picnic out on the commons for a student um, for her birthday. And it was setting up a cheese platter, a little cake and uh, some sparkling cider that was local and just making it really fun and personalized to her. So I thought that was really cool. I love that. And so what would a parent do if they absolutely had no idea where to start? What would you suggest to them? 
I have had that question asked a few times. What I always recommend is to tell me anything. I can work with a favorite color or a hobby. I had one parent tell me that their son's hobby was cinephile. I hope I'm saying that right. And I did the research. And so for his birthday, we did giant popcorn balloons and vintage uh, movie reels um, for the balloons. And he loved it and it was so fun. That's so wonderful. Um, so have you had more or less care packages uh, or other kinds of baskets to do uh, since the pandemic hit? I would definitely say more. I think it's just because everyone's trying to be so careful and socially distant that people are celebrating things in their rooms or in smaller, more intimate settings. So I have definitely gotten more requests for not only baskets of celebration or homesick, but also favorite items that their children might be missing because um, it's harder to get to a grocery store too. So lots of things like that. That's great. Um, what kinds of in-person events do you miss at Emerson since the pandemic hit us? Oh, I miss all of them. And I'm not just saying this because you're here, Maureen, but I miss family weekend so much. That was my favorite weekend, especially at the local farmers market that we did, showcasing all of the farmers and uh, local businesses we use at the dining hall, but also the brunch in the gymnasium that we did every year. I just, I, I miss doing events for the students and seeing everyone together and enjoying the time together. So I have to tell everybody that um, a, a couple of years ago, the Family Weekend had a logo that was a, a, an outline of a house. And the students wanted some cider donuts, you know, as a, as a real homey kind of feeling for an October Sunday morning brunch. And Sheila had the idea of making a donut house an outline of a house that had donuts all over it. And uh, the students were just bowled over by her inventiveness. And uh, was that a fun project to work on, Sheila? It was so fun. It was fun because we also had to get the facilities team at Emerson College involved. And also some of the, the dish crew and some of the folks who work in the dining hall also helped me too, because I didn't think about getting the house in the elevator. That was the one problem, but we made it work. <laughs> That's great. So um, what usually happens when a student picks up their, um, their gift basket? Do you get to see them when that, when that happens or how does that work? Most of the time I do see them. Something that I'm very proud of and I know our dining team is proud of too, especially Glenda, the nighttime manager at Emerson Dining Hall. She has brought in maracas. She's brought in everything she can think of. And she likes to get the whole dining team involved in singing happy birthday and making sure that everyone feels special when they pick up their baskets too. Oh, that's so wonderful. So do you get to, um, what, what do you think is the best reaction you've ever seen? I mean, it's, it's always a happy reaction and I'm always so glad to make someone's day or make it a great surprise and be involved in these family celebrations and friend celebrations. I think the one that really took me by surprise is someone wrote me a handwritten note a couple of weeks ago and it just really made my day. I'm glad that we can be a part of these moments for them. Oh, that's so wonderful. Yeah. So how do parents get in touch with you? I think email is always best. Um, my email, I think, was listed. It's Sheila.Hurley at Cafe .com. And also they can always call the main Emerson dining line and I can always answer that too. Okay, wonderful. So even if they have no idea where to start, they just know that they want to um, celebrate their student in some way, they can just give you a call and you'll talk them through, through the whole process, right? Definitely. Give me a call. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Sheila, for spending a little time with us. And thanks for all that you do for our students. We really appreciate it. Thank you.